for joining. Uh, I'm Russ Curtis, licensed clinical mental health counselor, and want to talk about starseed syndrome and symptoms of extension. Before I begin, I'm always uh, I'm always drawn to the fact that the only personality factor that's uh, correlated with intelligence is open-mindedness, and there's a moderate correlation. And so I guess what I would say is uh, stay open to new information. You could have clients experiencing symptoms such as these that we narrowly label as some kind of disorder, and it may be something far greater or bigger than that. And then just think of the injustice we've done if we haven't, if we haven't opened our mind to new possibilities. So here are some ascent symptoms of ascension. And essentially what this is saying is that some folks are moving into a higher vibration, specifically the fifth dimension from the third. And the third's very dense and we've got wars and there's likes and dislikes. Um, and the fifth dimension is much more about peace and, and collaboration and, and community. So some of the symptoms of ascension for those that are can experience feeling very disoriented at times, uh, feeling very scattered brained, um, dropping things, walking into things, uh, feeling dizzy, having dizzy spells and even memory issues, calling up names or facts and so forth. Anxiety, panic and depression. And this is the result, according to this theory of energy uploads, that you're actually increasing your vibration. So, yes, it does get attached to cognitions and you can worry about it and so forth. But it's actually not because of something wrong with you. In fact, it may be something that's really, really right with you. Um, having, uh, you know, unexplained aches and pains, tingling in hands and feet and limbs heightened sensitivity to light, noise, and crowds, very vivid dreams, you know, more than baseline. You know, if you're somebody who hasn't had vivid dreams, these are very vivid. Difficult to accomplish mundane tasks, okay? So, you know, taking care of stuff that's not very meaningful and exciting and so forth can be difficult uh, to find the energy to do that. And then lastly, intolerant of small talk and fear-based people and ideology. Uh, that's a real drag. It can actually add to some of the anxiety and depression and so forth that have to be around that. So equally kind of um, sensitive to the energy of others. You know, am I with somebody who's very fear based or am I with somebody who's a lot more love inspired? OK, so let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, again, let's let's keep open about all the different possibilities and theories out there. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Take good care.